Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's Jimmy Dore Show. I'm joined in the studio right now by uh, Abbey Award-winning writer Jim Earl. Hi, Jim. How are you? Uh, yeah, I know. That's how I am, too. Hey, hey, Hank Thompson's here. Hank, I hear you're a little worse than us. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Hey. Horrible. Horrible. Hey, hey, I feel like I'm about to throw up, but guess what happens after you throw up? You feel better. Diarrhea. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then a little diarrhea. If you eat the throw and then shouldn't have said that in two years we're gonna make a progressive killing anyway let's get to today's jokes before we get to the joke shall we the uh whatever you take away from this election my advice would be to start with canned goods and potable water that's how you pronounce it right potable potable yeah (laughs) i appreciate you you were smiling as big as you've ever smiled but you're keeping (laughs) the laugh still inside which is nice potable water is still illegal I'm a tasteful comic. You are tasteful. You know, the Islamic State celebrated the dues of Trump's victory, uh, hoping his triumph would lead to a civil war or even worse, a spinoff of The Apprentice. Oh, that would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. For our country. Plans, Jim, did you know plans are already being laid for the location of the Donald Trump Presidential Library? No. This is true. It's a toss-up between two countries Trump can't name the leaders of. That makes sense. (laughs) You know, it's a good thing neither of those candidates took a moral position on the Standing Rock's cause, because if they would have, I probably would have died of a fucking heart attack. <laughs> then where would it be, you know? Then, then we'd be lost. Hey, I don't know about you, but I voted with my penis. Really? Yeah, because it's the only part of my body with a working thumb. <laughs> <laughs> you're... Well, you're, to you're, be, that is the dumbest fucking joke. Well, to be fair, it is tough to fit find something small enough to fit in that little punch hole. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! You you set yourself up for Punch that. Punchline tag. Look at these her. tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the worst? I got to tell you, in all seriousness, uh, people are overlooking this, but the worst part of Trump's presidency is that Chuck Woolery's tweeting again. <laughs> I got him to laugh. I got Hank to laugh. Mr. Depression is laughing at the joke about Chuck Woolery. That guy will not go away. That guy won't go away. He'll be back in two and two. Two and two. <laughs> two years. And... Two years. Hey, well, whatever happens in the next four years, I just hope Wall Street doesn't suffer. They'll be fine. Hillary's uh, speaking fees are plummeting, by the way, guys. Oh, you're kidding. All the way down to 100 bucks a speech. <laughs> hey, on a sadder note, uh, in the midst of, this, of all of this, Janet Reno, Hank. Oh, no. Janet Reno passed away. Hey, unfriend me if you must. But I never thought Janet Reno 911 was funny. Mm. Oh, Amen. <laughs> hey, what's coming up on today's show? I don't know yet. <laughs> We're going to talk about the election. What really happened? Why did she lose? Where did she lose? And we all know what the hell we all don't know what the hell the democrats were thinking we're going to talk about it plus what are we going to do going forward plus how are you supposed to react like bernie sanders how you're not supposed to react plus we got phone calls well you already heard one of them but we're going to have a phone call today from chris christie and uh our final call from hillary supporter that's today on the jimmy Dore show